So you just bought yourself a KTM 150 XCW. Congratulations. I am so excited for you. You have no idea. Now, if you bought your bike brand new, there might be a few things that you want to do to make your riding a little more comfortable. If you bought your bike from somebody else, chances are there might be a few modifications already done. And if so, there is no need to worry. We just got to set up your bike for you because everyone is different. I'm going to talk to you about the modifications that I have done to make my riding way more comfortable when it comes to the trails and riding my own backyard enduro track. <laughs> But for right now, hey, hi, and hello. I am Angelisa, and I am a dirt bike and snowmobile enthusiast, and I love to share things that have helped me with my dirt bike and my snowmobile, especially because I am a short rider, as mentioned in my previous videos, and this is gonna be on repeat, but I am shy of five feet. I am four foot 11.84 inches <laughs> okay so i am a shorter rider and i do need to modify my toys when it comes to riding because i need the leverage when it comes to not only riding but also to handle my machines because i have a disadvantage and that is again leverage i share my experiences with you and also with a lot of women and kids. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have a lot of kids stand next to me because they're so excited to see if they are that much more taller than I am every single day. So um, I get asked a lot by parents how I set up my stuff for me because I guess I am equivalent to a child. I don't know. Maybe Maybe I'm not, maybe I am. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the video about my dirt bike. Modifications on the KTM 150 XCW. Upgrading to this bike, I knew that I needed to spend a little more extra money on modifications. I asked you over on my Instagram almost a year ago on what type of bike I should get actually. And I'll post a couple of the comments um, here. There was quite a few of them. So I was looking for a snappy bike. I was looking for a bike that was an electrical, electric start. That was very important to me. My hip was um, just getting very tired from kickstarting the 105 SX, which was the bike that I was riding before. Even though I loved that bike, there was just a whole lot of issues with it more than I can count and so I needed a reliable bike especially riding on our trails out here in BC. So upgrading to the 150 XCW being a shorter rider I knew that I had to make the investment in proper setups. <laughs> so when it comes to proper setups I recommend budgeting for this because we're going to need to make those adjustments and those modifications. We need to spend a little bit more, unfortunately, to ride more comfortably. And these bikes are, when they're stock, they are made for taller individuals. <laughs> so if you lack in height, then this video is for you. And I'm telling you right now to either budget for this or to save for all the things that I'm going to list for you today. So here's my bike. It is late September of 2022. I purchased this KTM back in October of 2021. During the spring and summer, I spent a whole lot of time doing some drills and getting used to this bike. And as you can see, I put her through a lot. I will be giving her lots of love over winter and getting her fine-tuned for next spring of 2023. So let's ignore some of this because I know I need to fix a lot of this. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So um, number one, let's talk about suspension. This is gonna be my number one thing for you to budget and save for is suspension. Now, being on older bikes, on smaller bikes, 
This is something I overlooked. I never thought that I needed to spend the money or get my suspension suited for my weight and height. And I really wish that I did spend the time on figuring that out. So once I got this bike back in October, that was something I did right away. So I went to Suspension Works. I got all of this stuff done to my bike and for a hefty price, yes, but I knew I was going to be spending that money to get my bike suited for me. So I needed to get it um, suited for my height and for my weight. And that lowered, uh, in total, it lowered my bike two inches with the suspension. Knowing that I am a shorter rider, that's what they did for me. And I'm just glad that I, like I said, spent that money and I'm glad I did that. I did not hop onto my bike right away from the shop because, well, I, I stood on it, but I didn't want to ride it stock because I knew I was just going to get that done. So it went from the shop straight to suspension works and I got it built um, from there. So once again, suspension is going to be your best friend. Get it done. Don't overlook it. This is something that I highly recommend for us shorties. It's just better to customize our bikes rather than just being thrown into something that's just way too big for us and we can damage ourselves especially our knees i don't know about you but i have some weaker knees and just having that fear of a tall bike landing and my leg not being able to so support this heavy bike landing on me it just it scares me so just you know invest in that invest in proper suspension setup you will not be disappointed my very first ride on this KTM on my 150 was on the Sunshine Coast in February of 2022 and I rode over 50k um, in one day <laughs> and even though I had the suspension lowered and I got it adjusted for me I was falling a whole lot you can watch if you want to be entertained you can watch that video I will post it up here somewhere along up here it was a great time it was a fun time I went with a couple girlfriends and uh, but yeah I fell a whole lot and the bike still felt too big now I know I am on a bigger bike this is an adult sized bike I was riding a kid's bike with big wheels so it's a big upgrade I wasn't used to it I totally understand that in wet conditions it was raining it's winter but it definitely gave me a good taste of what I was getting into and like I said I just felt like even though I got my suspension lowered there had to be another way for me to get even lower just so I can put a foot down because that was scary every time I put my foot down I fell and my bike would fall and I picked up my bike too many times and I actually ended up buggering up my shoulder because of it. So I came out of that weekend extremely sore and extremely uncomfortable. I also have a podcast and a video um, if you guys want to check it out over here. Um, I go in more depth about my sensitive lady bits. So with the rubbing and the friction of trying to touch on both sides when I'm on the trails it, it caused a lot of um, uncomfortableness for me down there and so that is why I came home frustrated from that weekend because I was just sore in places that I shouldn't be sore and it's again I'm on a newer bike I knew that this was gonna happen that I would need I would be falling over quite a bit but I just needed to touch I needed to touch when I wanted to stop so so after that long story, <laughs> I talked to my husband, Kenny, and we dropped my forks. So we lowered my forks about three quarters of an inch. So that makes my bike a total of two inches and three quarters. Some people are going to tell you not to do this. However, if you're feeling like your confidence isn't there and you're falling a lot and you're exhausting yourself just from picking your bike so much yes it takes seat time but i recommend just giving it a try just try lowering your forks just a little bit just to gain your confidence back because there's nothing worse than not having any confidence at all when it comes to a bigger bike it helped me 
and I know that I can always adjust my forks, bring them back to give me that extra lift, which I might actually do now that I am nearing the end of my season, but we'll see. I'm having a lot of fun with my setup so far. It's been a blast. Since I mentioned my sensitive lady bits, I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is NYX. I have mentioned NYX period underwear on across all of my platforms, but in case you missed it, no need to worry. NYX is a period underwear that allows freedom when it comes to surfing that crimson wave. It's an absorbent underwear that collects all fluid and can be tossed into the wash after use. The best part about this period underwear is that I use them not only for my period, but for when I am off riding in the backcountry on my snowmobile or when I am dirt biking on the trails. I sweat a lot and let's just say other fluids come out when I scare myself a little bit. I am so happy I made the investment in comfort and I know you will be too. You can shop your first pair of NYX underwear at nyx.ca and use my discount code, which is Angelisa Edwards underscore 10 off. I will have everything you need in the description box below. My favorite pair of NYX underwear is the Dream Short. I wear these all the time and have them in a few different patterns like the Betsy Johnson collab in floral print, cheetah print, and classic black. I can't wait for you to experience freedom while flowing on that red wave the next time you're doing your sports. Okay, let's talk about seats. This is my third point and it is lowering your seat. Whether you shave it, like what I did, I shaved it about an inch, so that now gives me that extra inch when I put my foot down. You can also get lowered seats with an extra cost, but if you are on a budget, you can just take off the seat cover and shave it yourself. And if you have any friends or family members that have experience with this, maybe they can help you out and give you some pointers as well. So shaving my seat has helped tremendously. And again, it's given me the comfort knowing that I can put my foot down and not worry about my bike falling over on top of my leg. <laughs> so this was a huge win for me as well and something I recommend doing. Okay, I got a, I got a squat for you guys <laughs> so you can see me. All right, another thing that I adjusted was my handlebars. I was riding these handlebars stock just how it is I haven't changed the bar itself, but it was just a few months ago, a couple months ago, that Kenny and I adjusted it, so we brought the bar forward closer to me. The reason why I did this is because I was telling Kenny that when I was doing my clutch up or when I would do my log hops, he would always tell me to bring my bars towards me, but when you're riding fully extend or when you're doing these obstacles, fully extend without any bend to your elbow, it's quite hard to pull yourself. So I was riding kind of like this stiff armed, but if I had a little bit more of a bend to my elbows, then I could really pull myself, pull my body, my bars to my body or to my chest. So I'll show you here, there are these holes here and we just brought the bars, everything closer to my body. That way it was easier for me to pull. I don't have long arms, so that just helped compress my bike. Is that the word I'm looking for? It helped squish my bike in a little bit more because again, I'm a short rider and these little adjustments help with my riding so much. So that's number four is the handlebars, just bringing them closer to you. Bobby. Yeah. How do you cut this? Okay. All right, last but not least, my clutch and my brake levers. Now I have a whole video, I have actually two videos. I have a video that you can watch over here. <laughs> I never know where to point on the screen. Um, you can watch on how to install the Midwest Mountain Engineer clutch lever. I made a video about that. I also made a video about my review, my honest review about the lever 
and I must say, even though this is going to be a repeat if you have watched that video, this has helped me so much with my riding and it's something I never think about anymore. With the stock clutch lever, I had to use all four fingers to grab it to the bar and that was extremely difficult when I was climbing hills and that's just it shouldn't be the case it should not be that stiff so having an easier pull clutch lever is something to invest in especially if you have short hands maybe they're not the strongest like mine <laughs> you won't be disappointed in making that investment and another thing that i did now i didn't notice it quite as much the stock brake lever i didn't notice anything it felt fine to me but because i was installing the clutch lever i thought why not put the midwest mountain engineer brake lever on and i must say i really love the short shortness of the lever and it's just again an easy pull um i never think about my brakes or my levers or <laughs> Never, I never think about um, my clutch lever or my brake lever just because they are that comfortable for my hands. They just fit my hands really nicely and I get to ride with one finger which I'm very comfortable with. If I have to use more than one finger then it just throws me for a loop. I almost feel naked in a way because it's just so foreign for me so riding with one finger on both levers is just really nice and uh, makes my riding much, that much more enjoyable because I'm not thinking about other things. All right, here we go, balancing it out. So there you have it. Those are my five modifications that I have done on my KTM 150 XCW. I also have the pipe guard and the skid plate to help. So, you know, when I'm bashing and smashing into those rocks, um, there is a little bit of a guard down there just to save my bike somewhat. <laughs> That's all that I have for you guys today. I'm just going to continue balancing it out. I haven't done this in a while. Until next time, keep killing it safely, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye! Still see the bike? <laughs> okay, do you want to walk around? Oh, walk this way! No, make sure you can see me in the bike. <laughs>